Todd Stevens and you're watching Godzilla TV. This episode of the Godzilla TV show was made possible by Tamworth Snowdome. Bonjour, bien et vous. Je m'appelle Sean Miller. Il s'appelle James Agati. Oui. This is Godzilla TV. French. <laughs> so, what's on the site? Well, let me tell you what's on the site. Please do. West Beach, in and out. That's what's happening. Um, oh, yeah. You filmed that majestical edit. I did. Uh, they drafted me in as a last minute MC. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that edit in the end. I wasn't too uh, optimistic about it at the, on the night, but um, it turned out all right. So what else have we got on the side? Uh, we have a nice little edit from New Zealand. Orla uh, Doolin and Rio and their New Zealandish buddies. The new best friends new forever. Best buddies I bet down. they've not even spoke since. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> Let's be best friends forever. Yeah, yeah see you later. Probably never going to talk to you again. Ta-ra, bye. Yeah, exactly. uh, no, it was a nice edit, man. Uh, I'm into that. It was a nice little, uh, sort of like, a, almost like a mini movie like had like little parts all of their own and I think I've seen a couple of the shots before from other edits but it was kind of nice to see it all together. It was a good edit as yeah. well. You could tell yeah, that well done. They, uh, they spent the time picking legit tricks and well done. Whoever Very it was, well done. I'm gonna say it was all there. Well done all that. I'll tell you what we've got. Mm -hmm. um, the British Junior Snowball team in Aberdeen. Oh yeah yeah that was quite cool actually. Um, I've not really, I don't think I've ever seen an edit from that slope before. It's got like B and Q in the background, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, the Trinders, uh, Matt McCormick, yeah. again, Matt McCormick's popping he's up like in all a lot over of the edits, place, isn't he? Isn't yeah. It? yeah, he's a good dude. Um, good egg. Yeah, so check that out. Um, also, we've got uh, this Cass Cruise from Steady Eddie and Stu oh, Edwards. How sick was that? Yeah. To Texas. I love Texas. Texas love, soundtrack. I actually went to see Texas once. Did you? Yeah. Amazing. I'd like to say I was about 12, but I was probably about, I was too old to go to a Texas concert. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Texas reminds me of going on French exchange <laughs> trips. That's how old I am. Um, yeah, wicked to see those guys yeah. shredding again for a starter, and yeah. then to making some sick edits. And also, it didn't even look like they were trying, and they really? were killing it. Yeah. Absolutely killing it. It's usually the way, isn't it, with them two? More, please! Yes, indeed. We'll talk about this a bit later, but we'll just mention it because the edit's up on the site as well. Yeah. Burton Rail Days in Tokyo. Where did this edit come from? It's the official edit. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't screen record it. No, no, no. <laughs> That's definitely something I'd do. That definitely is something that happened before. before but yeah. uh, no, it's the official um, edit from It's the, legit, the, everyone. It's, it's legit all right. Because they did like the live stream, obviously, that yeah, we all saw. And uh, yeah, they've just released like a highlights edit, which is pretty cool. Uh, see our boy Nichols. You ever want to learn to backflip? Hold that thought, because Amy Fuller's made a edit. And now we'll know, I guess. Did you watch it? I did watch it, yeah. It was uh, it was very good, actually. It was it. actually, for a trick tip video, quite informative on how to do a backflip and what things affect how your backflip turns out, which I thought was uh, pretty good. Because usually a trick tip is like, oh yeah, this is how you trick, do a trick tip. Uh, you <laughs> basically, you like you ride up to the thing and then you spin and then you land and you ride away clean and then that's it. But this was actually got a bit to it. And we got some bonus flips at the end of the edit as well. Awesome. I didn't actually see the edit because I'm a horrible know? sexist and I don't like girls. Anymore. Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, That's and fun. then finally, uh, one of your edits. Yeah, it was. It's a long one. It's got a bit of skiing in as well. We didn't actually post it on the site either. Did we not? No. All right. But it's all right. Uh, yeah. if, you, if you do watch it, uh, Battle of the Brits, Battle of the Brits. The Brit ski and snowboard thing. Something at happened at the ski show where they had um, a piece of wood on some plastic bristles and uh, Billy Morgan did something and... Uh, yeah, stuff happened. Danny what? McCormick did a front flip onto the box. Yeah, that's How cool. Was that? that didn't qualify for the finals, though. No. Ah. Unlucky. Yeah, that's the video's over. Oh, that's all right, wasn't it? Yeah. First up, Faris Bailey wins Tokyo Rail Days. So that's not really the news. The news is Nichols came second <laughs> and he killed it and it was amazing. And I was, I was really caught up in the moment watching it live yeah. as well. It was an emotional I saw your stuff. little live stream of comments and we were all excited for Nichols. It was, it was like, 
amazingly exciting, wasn't it? It was an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And I felt like, um, you know, because normally you watch Nichols and you're like, oh yeah, our, our guy, you know, we're rooting for our guy and he's the underdog and all that. But I've, this time I felt he wasn't the underdog at no, all. No, he, In fact, he was deservedly in that position. Yeah. And he Defending just, champion. He just had his list of tricks and he just got them down one by one by one by one. And it was just, it was great, wasn't it? It was an emotional roller coaster. That's all I can say about yeah. it. I smiled, I wept. I was left emotionally drained. Wow. Intense. Intense. But it was good though, so well done, Jamie. Yeah, great. Check out the edits. There's a highlights edit, like we just mentioned, and there's also a live stream somewhere. We'll put up the uh, URL and there. Don't feel too bad that Forrest won, because look at this clip of him. Oh, yeah. Over. He might be able to win a rail competition, but he can't walk. <laughs> he can't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't walk completely. Oh, Forrest. <laughs> Uh, it's called Forest. Anyway. Good times, good times. Um, also, news competition, more competition news. Oh, let me guess, Jamie Nichols getting on the podium oh, again. Oh, Give it a rest, Jamie. Yeah. Change the record. Yeah. No pleasure, Jam. Out in Dashteen or Dashstein, depending on which flavour of the month. What? I don't know. No, I don't either. Anyway, uh, Nichols came third at Pleasure Jam. Amy Fuller came first Champion. on the podium for Fuller. Yeah, it's alright, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. And uh, little Rowan came 14th. Yeah, that's 80 was riders, so that's pretty good. It's alright, isn't it? Well done, Rowan. Mm. Killing it. He is killing it. Sponsor news. Change it up. Change it up yeah, the board sponsors. This is all exciting, isn't it? Well, yeah. I don't it know is what I'm exciting. more excited about. Whether Johnny or T, yeah, because they're both pretty excited. So, uh, both have signed to signal. Yeah, uh, Johnny Russell and Tom Gilmard, aka Little T, Big T, cardboard box. No, that's awful. Don't put that in your head. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm stoked for both of them because that's a wicked move. Yeah. Um, with Johnny's left lobster and moved back to Signal. Yeah. And T's had a complete change, moving from his first ever sponsor, Burton. Yeah. I mean, been, yeah, he'd been with them a long time, but. Um... Yeah, it's change is good sometimes. Yeah, and absolutely. Big Air in Antwerp. Antwerp. I don't even know. Uh, so yeah, Big Air, yeah, Billy Morgan. He qualified in first, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, but eventually uh, couldn't hold it. Did he finish seventh? Yeah. Sixth, seventh? There's a bit of confusion there, mainly on my part, as I can't read tables or maps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but well, but yeah, done. well done, Billy. Uh, he's, I think it was he got some some much needed fist points as well because obviously he's oh, going for the Olympics. Same money. <laughs> yeah, he got some much needed like, lovely I don't know cash. Got any money or not? But um, yeah, fist points is where it's at at the moment. Eh? Uh, yeah, so that's the news. All done. Done and dusted. Well, have you ever wondered what Scott Stevens' top five favourite things about the UK are? Yes, I have. Me too. Let's find out what they are. My top five favourite things about the UK, let's see. Starting with number one. I like the accents, for sure. I really, I really think it's... I don't know, I kind of wish I talked like that, but you can't, I'm not going to force it, you know? <laughs> but it's pretty cool, I think it's just, just sounds cool. <laughs> and then uh, I like all the history, that's number two. Learning the history, you know, because there's a lot of our roots out here. Um, so that'd be number two. Number three would be um, London, man. London's sick. London's is like one of those, just those, a-list cities that you know you have to visit, I think, in your lifetime. Um, four would be Capita UK. They got a rad thing going out here. I don't know if it, all the other brands are as on top of it as they are, but uh, everything from you know Barry and James and Jonathan, uh, Tarquin, Yoni Mackinnon, sick. Capita UK. That was that. Was that number four? Uh, and number five, the domes, the snow domes. We wouldn't be having what we have here unless people invested millions of dollars to make these things. I mean, it's crazy the, the business is like as successful as it is with this little of room to, to ride, but you know, you, you guys really make the most of it and I, I'm really impressed, you know? It's like, it's sick. It reminds me of like everybody on the East Coast or or uh, in the Midwest that doesn't have a lot to work with, but they make the best out of it and they fucking have a smile on their face when they touch the snow. People out here truly, truly love it, you know? They don't take it for granted. Number two, two this 270s week. this week. 
We've had quite a few clips in. Yeah, a couple weren't really Ooh. landed, a few weren't quite there, but thanks for sending them in. Yeah, we thanks for sending them. We did enjoy we watching did, them. Uh, yes, exactly. We like watching people uh, struggle, <laughs> I think is the word. <laughs> well, we have got prizes, I haven't got them to show you, but um, Believe we'll us. send you some yeah. sh tat of some <laughs> description. Um, but yes, let's get to it. Third place is Luis Sonvico. Yes. And he did a 270 out of a landing. So like yeah, it could come it's off the kind of weird to describe. Come off the rail at 90, yeah. and then landed at 90 and span it around 270. That's the one. I liked it, great. It looked all right. I was a bit confused by it when I first saw it, but I kind of got it in the end. So, uh, well done, Lewis. Third place. Second place. Jamie Campbell, who Jamie. did a 270 off a kicker. Revolutionary. Pops to you, Jamie. But in first place? Yes, first place is our man, Henrik. Henrik Watson Miller. Oh, man. I like Henrik. Well done, Henrik. Yeah, this is cool, man. Hard way, to, hard way back 270 on, 270 off. Yeah, it's pretty day. Yeah. yeah. Well done, I'm Henrik. I'm impressed with that. Well done, Henrik. First place. Jobs are good. And being as people are unsponsored, we're probably dropping the sponsor prize anyway, so. Yeah, tat will be on the way towards Just you. send tat to it'll, everyone. It'll be tat, tat galore. It'll be a veritable tat shower. <laughs> Like a golden shower, but with tatters yes, and piss. Indeed. Yeah, so that was uh, two seventies. Done. Two's done. What's Over. next? Three. Three. Which Number is? Three, which is obviously three sixties. So uh, send us your best, most creative, biggest, whatever, three sixties incorporated into some sort of trick. Your um, most three sixty, three sixty. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, do you know what time it is? What time is it? <laughs> it's your favourite time of the week. That bit where I go around the back of the bus stop and get wanked off by the old guy. Not that favourite time. <laughs> All right, it's the Instagram of the week. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not, loving the Instagram. Not, I'm not subscribing to Instagram. Yes, you I don't are. like You've it. It's to. rubbish. I don't like taking pictures. I don't like looking at pictures. And I don't like looking at new pictures that have been made to look old. What's the point? This is very bizarre coming from someone who, who claims to be have a career as a filmmaker. <laughs> There's been no claim. I don't like photographs. I don't like images. I don't, I don't like, like art. seeing with my eyes. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't like change. I okay. don't like things that are different. <laughs> If you'd like to subscribe to my Bebo account, then <laughs> look me up. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Instagram of the week. Uh, it was a lovely shot. Uh, um, Tom Honey found it. I don't know who took the photo. We'll try and find that information out and put it up there. But it is uh, a shot of Johnny Russell at the recent White Lines thing in Hemel. Doing a gap to flat on the double kink. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty special. <laughs> the Unleashed the Lens Tour is afoot. <laughs> well, it's not a foot, it's happening at the moment. Uh, it's What's going, showing? What's showing? Uh, they're showing two movies. Uh, it's Yes, it's a movie. Two. two. And um, uh, Salmon. Salmon Team Vacation. Yep. Is, that, is, that, is that last year's movie? I'm going to say yeah. I kind of know the logo from last year, unless it's like an updated one. Um, but there's only one way to find out. And that's go along to the showings. I was going to say email Jess. Here. And... Uh, yeah, watch some things and stuff. Eat some but sweets. They're always good nights, though. Yeah, they are. They do the old pick and watch. Watching snowboarding with, with your beers. mates. And it's like being at the cinema, but yeah. in a pub. You know what else is coming up? What's I'm coming so up? stoked for this. Jackson's Hole. Oh, yeah, series. man. Some hypes for Jackson's Hole. It's probably going to be out by the time this is out, but um, I'm thinking the, the first one's going to be Tokyo, isn't it? Hopefully. Yeah, it's got to be. Um, yeah, look out for that. It's a good series. Uh, also on the horizon, mm. we've got the Capita edit. Coming out soon. Yeah, you sure about that? Pressure's on. Have you started it yet? No. Um, <laughs> Have you got all the footage for no. it yet? Uh, no. Um, um, so when's it coming out? Soon. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna throw it right out here. Two weeks. I'm going for it. The gauntlet has been set. I will uh, tell you that today is Monday the 26th of November. So, next show, it should be done for. By the time the next show is recorded, it will be ready. Yeah. Right, um, I've had enough, done about you. Uh, how can people get in touch? Uh, a number of different methods. Have a look at the board. Is it a board? It's not a board, is it? It's a little, well, it's a make-believe screen behind us. Um, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Email, even. And get a also, bit old school. Um, it's three in one to ten, isn't it, next? So oh, yes. Send we... us your bloody 360s.